Hello, and welcome to another video. Today here, this wonderful, beautiful Friday, with me, Caitlin J. Reeds. What are we going to talk about today? Number one, about the 97 of you subscribing to this channel. Thank you. Thank you. Like I said last video, never thought I'd even make it to 100. Never thought enough people would give a fuck. But look at us today, folks. Click that subscribe button, button down below. Bring us to 100 subscribers. I'm, I'm excited to see what the future holds. Today's future holds uh, another video for you. What's today's video about? It's about all of the books slash authors that I will not be reading in the foreseeable future. You know, maybe some of this can change. Probably not, but like maybe I'll include some caveats here and there. But pretty set. Like I'm pretty fine not reading these, um, not, not doing it. You know, I don't want to torture myself and, and that's how I feel. So without further ado, let's just take out the handy dandy iPad and start. All right. So I've compiled a list of authors and books and series that I just don't have any sort of interest in reading. I've seen a couple people do this video recently. It's a little bit trendy. And you know, I'd love to be negative. So I thought, why not hop on the trend? Okay. Um, last person I watched do this was Jack Edwards. Shout out to you, my friend. Don't have similar tastes, but you know, the book dude that I like to watch is most of the time not like fantasy sci-fi book too. Most of the time. Most of the time. There are sometimes there are my channels that I like to watch, but most of the time I'm watching like Jack Edwards, Carly when she uploads. Um I'm drawing a blank. I, I'm in fact drawing a blank, but that's not the point of this video. Let's just get into it. You you get the gist. I'm rambling. Let's just get into it. First, first up is The Dresden Files. That That's just not for me. It's not for me. Um, number one, it's too long. Number two, the amount of times I've heard people just be like, it's misogynistic, but like, it's okay. Like, that's, that's Dresden. Ah, I have no care to read something like that at all, whatsoever. Plus, those covers are far but ugly. And I don't want them on my shelf at all. So, yes, I will probably never read The Dresden Files. That's that's one of the ones on here that I'm pretty hard set on. It's just not gonna happen. Any of Jay Kristoff's books. I I just don't like Jay Kristoff. Um, do your own research. Look up the, you know, all of his little controversies. But he he's just not my favorite. And uh, to be honest, most of the stuff he's put forward is very lackluster. Okay? Very lackluster. So, just not interested. I'm gonna ax him from my anything. Not that he was on anything to begin with, but I'm just gonna reaffirm that today. This is one that I have physically hiding in my closet because I'm ashamed that I haven't read it yet. But you know what? I've had it in there since I've started reading again, and I just have not picked it up once, nor have I had the want or feeling that I, I need to. And that is A Little Life by, uh, I forget, I forget the author's name. I'll, I'll just include a photo, okay? I'm, mm, yeah, no, not interested. Um, I have enough depression in my own life that I don't feel like I need to read about other people's and how it affects their life. I think I'll just go into like a spiral about my own life. So, uh, yeah, that's just not gonna happen. Probably will donate that book, unhaul it, just because I was gonna read it for, for, you know, the hype. You know, when you first start reading again, it's like you look up what books are popular and you just want to read them all. Yeah. No, not interested. Not going to read it. Just going to move on. So this is one I, I'm going to have to explain a little bit, okay? And maybe I should put down the pen because I keep on waving it around like it's a magic wand. But I'm not going to put it down because it's my little prop for this episode. It's my prop, okay? And that is the entirety of Discworld. Okay, I have to be honest with myself. Do I have the time to read like all 40 plus books in Discworld that are just not all of them follow the same characters? Like we don't have our Wheel of Time moment. Like I will read the popular series. Like I know like Watchmen's pretty popular. Mort's pretty popular. I've read Going Postal. 
I was impressed by that. So I'm not axing him altogether because I have a feeling Terry Pratchett does lie in my future. But will I read the entirety of Discworld? Probably not. Okay, probably not. Following this, we have Leigh Bardugo's King of Scars. I don't know if it's a duology, trilogy, series. If you're new to this channel, you know, we, you don't know, actually, but I'm not a fan. I'm, I'm just not a fan of this world, of these characters whatsoever. Uh, not a fan of Shadow and Bone. Unpopular opinion, but not at all a fan of Six of Crows. I think I like that less than Shadow and Bone after just ruminating on it because everyone loves it so much and it just bothers me immensely. Um, I do like Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo, so I'm not gonna like completely X her out of my list completely, which is why she herself isn't on here, but anything having to do with the Shadow and Bone world whatsoever, I will just not be picking up. I could not care less, okay? I just couldn't. Then again, we have most of Stephen King's books. I just have no desire to pick up his books, their horror, um, a lot of them were written in, like, a time where saying, like, really racist or homophobic or misogynistic things were, like, cool and quirky. And I feel like he, like, took every chance he could to just include it all in there, you know? And, you know, even in his recent books, there's, like, I've, I've noticed a lot of fat phobia in something like Billy Summers. And I just not interested. I'm not interested in any of that. I just, I, I just don't want to. Okay, I don't want to do it. Will I meet? Will, will, will I read Misery? Probably. Will I ever read it? Absolutely not. Will I read Dark Tower? Probably, because I'm pretty sure that's his fantasy series. I probably will read that, but like M Misery and Dark Tower, I feel like are the two that I feel like I could get on board with, but everything else just isn't giving. It's just not. So. We're going to move on. Any of Sarah J. Mass's releases, okay? I hate to admit it, but when I left the, the reading sphere when I graduated high school, I was in the middle, the, Sarah J. Mass was in the middle of releasing all of her um, Throne of Glass books. That's the name of the series. And I really enjoyed them when I was like a mere 15 years old, 16, 17. You know, I enjoyed them. And then when I came back to reading, came back around to reading during the pandemic, I picked those books up because I knew the story, so I finished it off. And I liked it. But after having a plethora more fantasy books behind my belt, there are so much better. There are so many better things in the Throne of Glass series. Plus, I think I've tried reading the fucking first Akatar book like three different times. I hate that shit. I hate it so much. It's like the most overrated book trilogy you can ever think of and that angers me because there are so many better things in this world like like read if you want some smutty fantasy i haven't i haven't even read this but like ice planet barbarians at least that's a little more unique you know um instead we just get the same fairy porn from what i've heard over and over and over again if you haven't watched read with cindy's videos i feel like i know the entirety of every one of their plots because of her videos and that just approves and affirms to me. I just, there's no reason for me to be reading this trilogy whatsoever or Crescent City or anything else that she ever publishes because I just have no interest in speaking about her, reading her books. Um, so many people do. I don't feel like I need to, you know, I don't need to support. It's not necessary whatsoever. It's just not. This one was one I had to break up with this author, you know, again, this is someone that I left off really into when I was reading in high school, and I actually came back with my first ever book read during quarantine with this author, but I've grown so far past this series, this world, this universe, and that is Cassandra Clare's New Editions. Will I read maybe the last installment of the Last Hours trilogy? Maybe? Probably not. Um, I really hated how the last one left off. I don't even remember the, the name of the, the book. I just, it's just not interesting anymore. You know, it's really great when you're getting an introduction at that introduction level to fantasy and stuff like that and magical realism and things of that nature, but I'm just totally just past that and not interested, not the target demographic. 
one shall say. So I'm going to move on. I'm going to leave Cassandra Clare in the past. Again, she's one of those authors, has no issues getting recognition. So I don't need to add to it. I just don't. Um, I just also want to speak really quick on like the Jamie Campbell Bauer Renaissance. Like our Jace. It's a little weird to see it all isn't it? It's a little weird to see his renaissance. I remember when he was cast as Jace, I was pissed. I was like 14 and I thought he was butt ugly. But like now, well, he was pretty sexy as Jace. Definitely better than Don Sherwood. He was pretty sexy. I'm not gonna lie. I had pretty bad taste in high school, but that's okay. Everyone does. But yeah, the Jamie Campbell Bauer renaissance. Wow, what a moment for him. I'm proud. I'm proud. Maybe more people will read yeah, whatever. Let's just move on. We don't need to continue to talk about Jamie Campbell Bauer, okay? Everyone loves his Vecnosi, so let's just move on. This is a whole, like, group of books that I'm gonna put together for you. So you know how I said earlier, like, I don't really watch a lot of fantasy YouTubers. I do watch a whole lot of romance YouTubers. Do I know most of their names? No. No, I don't. Um, sorry. But, but why are they reading like the choose me pick me 2012 YA books like the dystopian pick me choose me tris tris dumb YA books what's the fucking purpose so in lieu of that I will not be reading any of the second half of the shatter me installments that should have ended back when it fucking ended originally um to harm Mafi. I'm not a hater of you in particular but like just give it up okay I know you're trying to get your coin, but like, it's just not it. It's not it. It's not giving. It's not giving what it needs to give. Also, like, you know, put down the, the summer I turned pretty. Put down, you know, the, the legend trilogy. Like, there's a reason whenever you pick them up, you're not really meshing with them. You're not really gelling with them. That's because they were written in like 2012 for like, pick me bitches. And none of you girls are that, okay? We all support women here. Okay, we all support women. Okay? And these books should just be left as historical relics, not as like fun fun time reads today. You know, all these authors publish books in real time. So just read their new books. You know, let's leave those characters in the past because those were to appeal to a different set of people who are just we were trying to one up women constantly. And that's not what we want to do. Okay? So let's just leave it. Let's leave it back there and support their current works. You know, I haven't read Tahara Mafi's Renegades, whatever that, Supernova, like those books, whatever they're called. Um, Veronica Roth, I'm pretty sure she's had a couple controversies, so I don't know about her, but Lee Bardugo's Ninth House, great. Stop reading Shadow and Bone. Just read Ninth House. And then Six of Crows, is, if that's your jam. It wasn't mine, but, you know, I digress. Let's move on. Robin Hobb. Okay, this is one you might sway me on if you're going to tell me it, it gets better from Assassin's Apprentice, but I thought Assassin's Apprentice was so boring. I just couldn't connect with Fitz on a level where I really liked him whatsoever. I thought he was bland and boring, and he complained a lot. Granted, he was a kid, but like, oh, complainer. I mean, I'm a complainer. I don't want to read about a complainer, you know? I want to read about someone who's not a complainer, and I feel like Fitz is that. If you're going to tell me that it gets better after Assassin's Apprentice, I can maybe open my heart to Robin Hobb, because Ship of Magic to me sounds beyond interesting, but they're all connected in the same world, and I'm just not going to understand, okay? I'm just not going to understand. I'm not going to do that to myself. So for now, Robin Hobb is on this list. Sorry, baby. Then we have the David Bad trilogy. I hate <laughs> the first book in this, The City of Brass. I remember hating it. Can't even tell you what it's about now. I, I did not like it. Um, I know a lot of people love it, but I just have no interest in this trilogy. Maybe if S.A. Shocker Bordy releases something else, I'll pick it up and give it a, give her another go. I'm not going to completely axe her as an author, but I absolutely despised City of Brass. And people just love that book. And I have a feeling it probably stays very similar throughout the series, the trilogy. And I just have no interest. No interest whatsoever. So it's just not happening. It's not going to happen. And I'm going to move on. Like I said, maybe maybe we'll pick up S.A. Chaka Birdie in the future. But not right now. Not in the present moment. Then we have the Prism series, whatever that's called, by Brent Weeks. 
Wow, another one I was not expecting the amount of just pure misogyny and objectification of women in this book. I don't remember anything, absolutely fucking anything plot-wise with this book. What I do remember is our main character just non-stop describing women and their titties, their bouncing, jiggling titties. I get it. That's not what I'm trying to read in my fantasy that has no, nothing, nothing else to give. Okay, so I just have no interest in the Black Prism, the bris Prism, I think it's Black Prism, Prism, I don't know, that series, people love it, I just really got a bad taste in my mouth, bad taste in my mouth from that first book, so, no, 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 and honestly, if Brent Weeks, if I read another one of his books and it's similar, he's staying on this list, because that's how bad of a fucking taste that gave me, okay, we have books written in fucking 1990 that treat women better don't. So I know how I mentioned, like, I like to watch romance YouTubers. This is, like, the third time me mentioning it. Um, but I will never read the romance genre again. I just don't feel it in my heart and soul. It's just not for me. It's not the genre for me. Do I love to watch other people reading it and having a blast and hearing about what the plot's about? Yeah. Do I want to read an 800-page book just about romance with, like, extreme smut that gives me secondhand embarrassment? Mm-mm. No, not particularly. I will let them read it and then explain it to me, and that will be great. That'll be a go. Er, go. You know? Um, but it'll be a fast stop with me in romance from now on. Um, I don't think you can convince me to read a, a romance book, unless it's something like Legends and Lattes, very low-stake fantasy romance or sci-fi romance, something of that nature, but, like, I'm done with just normal people romance. You know, I want to read about two high schoolers. I'm 23. I have no interest. Sorry. I just don't relate. Can't relate anymore. Can't. I can't do it. So that genre, I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna leave for the girlies that love to read that genre. And then I'll get the recap, and I'll be, I'll be all great. I'll be all on fire, okay? And last on our list, this one may set some people off, okay? Um, and it's not like a hard, definite yes, like some of our other ones on this list, okay? It's not hard and definite, but I just like, I feel like some of my favorite books, people, the biggest criticism for them is that it is a ripoff of this one series, okay? That people love, okay? It's a classic. It has a classic movie set to them. It has a TV show coming up on Amazon. You guessed it, Lord of the Rings. I just don't think I'm going to do it. I just, why? Um, people say Wheel of Time is an off-brand Lord of the Rings. People say, the, why am I thinking of them more? People say the Stormlight Archive is a knockoff Lord of the Rings. Why would I read Lord of the Rings? This one, I could be swayed on if, like, you leave some comments down below really pleading the case for Lord of the Rings, okay? Really pleading that case. But I just feel like I could do without, you know? Like, it's not necessary in my life. It's not necessary for me to fulfill my dreams. Um, if you're going to tell me it's necessary to be a fantasy writer, then maybe I'll pick it up. But, like, right now, no interest, no desire not gonna happen. And that's that. But, like, again, this is one I could be swayed on. Just because of its, you know, significance in the fantasy culture. But besides that, I just have no interest. You know, no interest. Because I've already read and loved the regurgitated version, so I'm good with that. And without further ado, that was today's video, folks. I hope you had a great time with me today. Give give this video a like. Comment down below. What is a book, book series, genre, author that you have no desire in reading? It could be a book I rave about constantly on this channel. I just want to know. You know, I want to know. Give me your opinions down below. All right? All right? Hit that subscribe button. Get us to 100 subscribers. All right? I appreciate you guys. I'm, like, so excited about that. You know, that excites me. Just because I wasn't expecting, like, last video to just get so many new subs so thanks um if you can't tell it makes me really happy but yeah i appreciate you all peace out motherfucker